Hi everyone. Welcome to Techno Knowledge. Today we will discuss how to create a Jasper report by using collections in Java. So we will start with a, a very simple example. Let's take an example of a supermarket where I went and purchased two items: uh, fruits and chips. So uh, here, uh, we'll, I have already created it. We'll, we'll be creating a Pojo class uh, with the item name and the item cost. Item name will be a string and the item cost will be double. We have to create a, a service class as well, uh, which will be our main class. And uh, since I'm creating it as a standalone application, I have written the uh, PSVM here and I'm, create, uh, I'm calling my create PDF network. Uh, so, File path and output path is the place where I want my receipt to get generated. So we are uh, so we are saving it as a PDF document. Uh, I've created an array list where I have added two transactions. One is the chips, and the other is the fruits. We have created an input stream which will take the path of your other transaction receipt or Jasper class so that it can read it and get the byte streams from there. The Jasper report, which will load the byte streams. This is the collection of data sources. This is the parameter which we have created for our table. And we are passing the data source here. And then finally, we'll be printing our Jasper report and then exporting the report as a PDF stream in our path here, mentioned here. So uh, let's start with creating the .jrxml file. You have to just go to new, other, Jasper report. We have to select the Jasper report and use a blank template. I'll name it transaction receipt this will create a .gr XML file for me so as we can see there are a couple of tabs which have been created so we might not need all these things. This is the title, page header, column header, detail. Detail is the one we will be creating of stuff, putting of stuff inside this. Column footer, page footer, summary. So I'll be deleting the title. I'll be deleting the page header. I'll keep the column header. I'll delete the column footer, page footer, and summary. Column header will be a static text form. So these are the uh, tabs which have been there. creates a static text I'll say transaction supermarket receipt let's call it supermarket receipt okay right click on this and size to container fit the width so that we can fit the width Go to properties and you can see, select this thing. And you can see there are various other things which you can do. You can add colors to the background. You can add a border. And control your line spacing, everything. Now, um, we will create a parameter. Go to the outline and Click on the parameters, we'll create a parameter. We have created a parameter. This has to match your, uh, this thing, data source. So we have created a parameter. And after this, I'll add the table. Now 
create a new table using data set create an empty data set use a gr data source expression has to be chosen and here we will mention the parameter which we have added this needs to be the expression for that and the parameter name finish as we can see the table has been created Yes. You can see table header is having different cells. Uh, table is having different cells. Table header, column header, detail, column footer, table footer. I don't need table header. So I'll delete this cell. I want to keep column header. I want to keep the detail where all this stuff is going to be there. We will delete this column footer. And then I'm going to delete the last one also. So I need two columns, create column after. So I have two columns right now. You can just drag. You can adjust the width and the size through the properties here. Now the first one will be a static text. I'll add, add a static text. I'll name it item name. The other static text is going to be this one. I'll name it item cost. I'll save it. Now, now we need to create two fields. Uh, we'll the items will be displayed, which will be dynamic. So we'll create two fields. I'll create the first field, which says field one and string. This field has to be, the name has to be seen as the name in the Pojo class. So I'll copy it from here, item time, item name. This was a string, I saved it. I'll create another field, create field, this is a double. So we have mapped the fields now. Now what we have to do is we have to mention that these fields belong to these cells. So I'll select the text field. Text field is the one which, which is created dynamically, which gets dynamically the values. And I'll drop, drop it here. It asks me, you know, the properties are beneath. And in the text field, I will go within the expressions. I can go edit, go to edit, and select the fields which we have already been added. So item name is the one. I'll double click on this image. And the same has to be done for this one as well. We'll go to the menu board. It should be it should look like this. Now we have to compile it. There are a couple of other ways also to compile, like uh, Jasper Compile Manager is there, which through which we can compile uh, directly from the Java class, or we can use AND if we are using it on our project. And the third way is the simplest way is to go here and compile the code. This will create your dot Jasper file. So the now, uh, so now, the only thing which we have to do is go to your projects, build the project, and then run it. So I, I will run my project, and I will see that the uh, receipt gets generated or not through PDF. So here we go. We have already uh, got the receipt, supermarket receipt with the item name and item cost. So thanks for watching this video. Hope you like it. Kindly share and subscribe to our video. Thank you.